the final bow. His final bow. This is how Time Magazine is going to honor Kobe Bryant on its cover of the magazine out this Friday. It is one of so many tributes that poured onto social media in the past few days, but last night was our first chance to hear from late night hosts about a man they got to know well. And when we'd run into each other over the years, we'd laugh about that night that we first met. <laughs> we'd laugh at all the good things that had happened since. And we'd laugh about how much fun it was to raise kids and all the stupid mistakes we made trying to figure out how to be good dads. He was uh, a bright light, and that's how I want to remember him. Jimmy Kimmel did his show without the usual studio audience saying having one just didn't feel right. All the hosts shared a universal message about love. I wish I could say something to, to make sense of it all, and I can't find the words to say. All I can think of is this. If you can, take a moment tonight, tomorrow, to call up someone you love and just let them know. Life is short and it's fragile and we don't know how many birthdays we have. So just, we don't want to have a birthday to celebrate, just celebrate life. So a great comedian really is someone who can make you laugh through the tears. And I gotta tell you, watching Ellen's opening monologue, she does it. You can watch her show here on KHU 11 starting at three this afternoon. It's amazing to me how Kobe had so many specific memories with so many different people, like uh, L. Duncan, her memory, or Fallon there with his memory. Um, and I, I think that's an attest to, to the kind of man he was, not just basketball player. Well, he was a legend, right? Anytime you meet a legend, that is going to be marked in your memory forever. As reporters, I was, you know, just reading Instagram and people we've worked with over the mm -hmm. years, and a lot of our reporter friends were commenting, like, I was a nobody, I was the, you know, the reporter at the small yeah. station, and he, they, they said this multiple times, a lot of different reporters said, he stayed till every single reporter got to get their question in, until he retired, yeah. every single reporter. And that just goes to show you the kind of man he was, the kind of father he was mm -hmm. uh, from L. Duncan. That, that, you guys were both choked up earlier. Uh, we had a clip from uh, one of the anchors at ESPN. These from two Sports were, Center. From Sports Center. Night, you yeah. guys were both getting choked up. Um, all right, we're going to continue this conversation. If you want to join us, go to kchu.com or use that hashtag uh, HTownRush. But for now, we're going to go to the one.